clean air. All precautions in place. Now, moving on, the UK will start accepting the UAE vaccines from October 4th. Now, from 4 a.m. Monday, October 4th, which is next week, the UK will start accepting UAE vaccines. And the rules for travel from countries not on the UK red list will depend on your vaccination status. Now, the four approved vaccines include <clears throat> Oxford, AstraZeneca, Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna, and Jensen. The following formulations of the four listed vaccines qualify as approved vaccines as well, which is AstraZeneca, Covishield, AstraZeneca, Vax Zervia, one second, AstraZeneca, Vax Zervia, Moderna, Tequila, <laughs> sounds like a Mexican dish. And you must have had a complete course of an approved vaccine at least 14 days before you arrive in England. If you qualify as fully vaccinated, you will have to book and pay for a day two COVID-19 test to be taken after arrival in England and complete your passenger locator form anytime in the 48 hours before you arrive in England, as well as take a COVID-19 test on, uh, before day two and after you arrive in England, as per the new rules. Now, under the new rules, you will not need to take a pre-departure test and take a day eight COVID-19 test, nor will you need to quarantine at home or in uh, the place that you're staying for 10 days after you arrive in England. Uh, you will, however, need to show proof of your vaccination, digital or paper-based, from a national or state-level public health body. That includes, as a minimum, four names and surnames, your date of birth, your vaccine brand and manufacturer, date of vaccination of each dose, the country or territory or vaccination and or certificate issuer. Now, if your document from a public health body does not include all of these, you must then still follow the non-vaccinated rules. Uh, If not, you may be denied boarding on that flight, which would be a risky situation. The latest decision was announced by Grant Shapps, the Secretary of State for Transport, following updates to the vaccination app. Uh, so just a disclaimer that like Sinopharm is not in the list of approved vaccinations mm. for the UK. Um, which obviously a lot of people were originally vaccinated with Sinopharm here in the UAE. Uh, however, as a whole, this is fantastic news for UK residents. You can just hear its music to their ears. I saw it on so many stories yesterday, uh, people sharing it, delighted that they'll be able to go home without paying that um, hotel quarantine. So I'm surprised Amy didn't share it. She may have. Maybe she did. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe she did to her close friends. Oh yeah, probably. Like yeah, <laughs> but she was okay. so thrilled when the news came out. She's the one who sent in. Amy's all our the, boss, by the way. Oh yeah, our colleague. Love Amy. <laughs> she sent in all the information about it on React. Um, but yeah, so all the information that we have shared with you guys is via Amy, who was thrilled at the announcement and just went yeah um, and finding and researching all about it. Well, this is it. People, whatever country you're from, you're following those uh, travel rules so keenly. Um, of course, then you still have to remember other countries that are still uh, unable to travel. I think um, Australia uh, has had a bad run of it, same with South Africa. So they're probably still waiting for the news. But I think every country that opens up a little bit more is a positive step in the right direction. Very true. Let's move 